Mrs. Acting Deputy President. Hear ye, hear ye, my Lord, Lady and Lieges. I'm shocked and horrified. The people are ridiculing the bold and inspirational leadership of the People's Prime Minister, Sir Anthony Abbott of Warringah. While some may claim that returning to knighthoods is taking the country backwards, I can think of no more important policy for our realm right now. Because reform does not simply stop at backing bigots. No, friends, this is a Prime Minister with a vision for the future. This is a Prime Minister with a passion. This is a Prime Minister with a broad sword in his hands. While there are those who claim this is simply a policy designed to win votes in the marginal seat realm of Australia West, I reject this outright. With Holden and Ford already leaving, the carriage industry is a growth sector this government is prepared to embrace. Now look, I don't want to send the bazaars into a flurry, but there's rumours around that Dame Gina Reinhardt is prepared to supply the shields, the armour and the weaponry. What a boost to the West. And my friends, there are on water matters as well. There are on water matters as well. The free trade agreement the government is currently doing or agreeing with, with the East India Trading Company, is going to open Australia to spice markets unseen for a generation. Friends, let me be clear together we will stop the moats. Now, in the past few days, I've consulted my economic roundtable and can categorically state by adopting this policy, dozens and dozens of pounds can be saved. Now, I'm excited to hear that ministries are now, in addition to knighthoods, will be determined through a jousting tournament in the caucus room. Senator Bernardi from the realm of Australia South, whose jousting skills are lacking, whose jousting skills are lacking, confirmed that this has actually been the case for some time. But friends, all is not well, for an ill wind doth blow. My good friend, Senator Sinodinus of the realm of South Wales New, is currently facing the Inquisition. And despite what the court wizard may say, I believe he will float and will be returned to the court forth hence. We need a leader who will reject climate change. Who knows the world is not warming. Friends, we need a leader who knows that winter is coming. For all of us know, we are living in the time of the game of tones. See you on the QE2 for a drink. Thank you, Senator Jastadari.